Hey everyone. Uh, well, there's not a whole lot to talk about uh, right now, except to say that uh, I have finished off my F-15 model, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and say it. I think this is probably um, my best aircraft model yet. Uh, I'm very proud of how it uh, how it turned out. Not to say there's not a couple of minor flaws. Um, I had a masking error on the canopy. There's a little bit of paint kind of seeped under the mask which is a, a bummer, but, you know, it happens. Um, as well as on the underside, if you take a look at the armament, uh, there's two small bombs on either side of the conformal fuel tanks. There's actually supposed to be three. Uh, there's a, a third rack in between, a third clamp or a rack or whatever you want to call it, uh, in between the two bombs. Unfortunately, due to insufficient test fitting or just lack of planning on my part I didn't leave enough space to actually fit that third bomb in place so she's a little underarmed as compared to how I planned it but uh, regardless I'm very happy with how it came out um, there are parts of it that I'm incredibly happy with how they turned out especially like the engine exhausts uh, the, the, the metallic area around the engines, uh, I think, turned out really, really well. I actually used Tester's metallic paints for that. Um, and uh, I haven't used mu much of those in quite a long time, and they worked out, out perfectly well. Very, very well. Um, as well as the, uh, the landing gear and the landing gear bays. I'm not sure what it is about them, but I just think that they turned out really, really well, and I'm very proud of them. Um, so, uh, I, uh, I went ahead with the colorful Dragon Betty 2 nose art because you know it's something to break up the uh, the monotone kind of all gray on gray color scheme but uh, I just thought it was a neat looking piece of nose art and uh, it was it was a lot of fun to uh, to place it was actually pretty tricky because it actually uh, the pedo tube it fits or like it, it fits over the pedo tube so I had to cut a small hole and then uh, cut another small hole for the detail on the side, etc. But uh, it worked out quite well, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, apart from that, I have been... Uh, basically, sp I spent the last three or four days planning and strategizing how I'm going to do my uh, tutorial series. Um, I've written an outline and uh, uh, it's probably, based on how it's, it's coming together now, it's probably going to be between 15 and 20 episodes. So, overall, it's probably going to take me between one and two months to put it all together. Uh, I've got a model in mind that uh, I'm going to use for the actual build-up process, but I'm going to start a ways back from that. Uh, my, my strategy, my, uh, my plan for this is to start at the beginning. Like literally at the very genesis of model making. Uh, because I've done a little looking around on YouTube and it seems that all the tutorial series that I've been able to find have have kind of had some expectation of previous modeling experience in the viewer. Meaning that like they've built models before and they're looking to improve their skill. Um, you know, so like they're teaching like advanced weathering techniques or application of photo etched parts or uh, super detailing or scratch building or whatever. There's nothing I've been able to find that literally starts at the very beginning. So that's what I'm going to do. As if, I, I, basically I'm catering to the modeler who has either never built a model before and is looking to get into the hobby or who has maybe built a few crude models when they were younger and are getting back into the hobby after a long lapse in, uh, in, in, in building. So my first episode is basically going to be a look at some basic uh, starter kits, uh, like some, some entry-level snap fit kits uh, and where to go from there. And then I'm going to move into like tools and glues and paints and then get into airbrushing techniques and masking and actually getting into the build proper. So I'm hoping that once I get everything all written up 
Uh, I can probably knock out an episode maybe every three to four days. So, depending on, on how busy I am, because I understand I might be getting uh, recalled to work in a few days, so I may get really busy really fast. Um, but I'm hoping that I'll still have enough time that I can get this done. Um, but like I said, I'm hoping to get one done about every three to four days. Uh, hopefully not, you know, not more than like a week in between episodes, depending on how busy I get. Um, so that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I'm hoping to have something done by the end of the weekend. And from there, we'll see where it goes. Um, so... Uh, uh, do uh, you know? Check me out on Twitter. I will be um, doing updates as things are progressing on there. Uh, so other than that, not much else to say. If you want to see more of my F15, you can take a look at the build-up thread on eScale Models. There will be a link down below. Uh, there's also a link within the thread to my Photo Bucket account, which has quite a lot more unpublished photos of the build-up. Um, so like I said, uh, thanks everyone for watching and uh, happy modeling.